Hey everybody, got the uh, Gears of War 4 Xbox One Ultimate Edition showed up today. Super excited about this one. It's got a custom paint job, custom controller, and all done on the new Xbox One S. It's uh, two terabytes. Comes in a pretty cool box too. It's got all the all the artwork from the game. You know, maybe you want to cut it out, stick it on the wall somewhere, something like that. It's pretty slick. So let's dive into this. So, now I have opened a, another one, so I'm pretty excited to show you that even the inside of the case looks, of the box looks really amazing as well. They tried to keep with all the Gears of War theme, even on the instructions. Simple little instructions, but still has really cool you know looks like they took some time on that got the accessory box it comes out it's got the kind of mottled red and black look opens up you get your power cable which if you notice the Xbox One S doesn't have the power brick anymore it just goes right straight into the back of the Bag of the Xbox now, which is really nice. This side comes out. You've got your high speed HDMI cable, which isn't as glossy as the uh, the Xbox One cable. This one is actually pretty pretty basic, but I kind of like that because I got a little tired of all the glossiness. Then here's the controller, <clears throat> and this is the new 1S controller. Has the uh, Bluetooth capability as well as wireless. It still has the where you use uh, two AA batteries. So, but I mean that controller is just sick. It's amazing. It's got the Gears of War logo. And also, you can see it actually has what looks like scratches just embedded in the uh, the actual controller. It's not like paint or anything. It's it's actual like grooves. If you can hear it in the the controller itself, the buttons are the A, B, X, and Y buttons are all blacked out. They've got a cool font to them. Uh, wish I could show a little closer but the font is like really really wicked I have noticed when you do power it on the Xbox is now lit up in red on this one so instead of having the green X you've got the the logo with the the red X behind it which is pretty cool oh and then also on the battery pack you can kind of see in the reflection there's the uh, Federation logo as well or the coalition logo okay then we've got the box that has the codes for the Gears of War as well as the vertical stand which also has a nice kind of crimson crimson and black kind of theme to it and then if you look down in the box the whole logo and the Gears of War logo is here with the uh, the skull and then the the Federation of or the Coalition logo is on this side. It's pretty cool. Lots of details on just the box alone. And they've actually packed this pretty nice. I mean, it's nice and secure. It's got a lot of extra padding and everything to take care of it. Then open it. Oop. 
when you unwrap it, there it is. You can see the cog logo for the or the gears logo. It's got it also has the scratch marks as well. You can kind of see it a lot better on the console. You can see where they're actually, you know, physical grooves in the in the console itself. It's really cool. It looks like something's just torn into it. On the back, it has all the standard 1S connections. The power, which of course, like I said earlier, doesn't have a power brick anymore. You just plug it right in. It's got your HDMI out, HDMI in, two USB 3s, an IR out, and a Ethernet port, and the optical audio. So if, like if you have a, a sound bar or, or a nice surround sound system that uses uh, oh the fiber optic cables. On the bottom, it's got the Coalition logo, or the Eagle logo. Not really sure what it's totally called. I know there's different different things to it. Uh, if you do notice one thing with the S, they did move the USB spot to the front. So now it's conveniently located in the front. It makes it real easy to plug in controllers and stuff. And then also this has got a nice, that nice red logo when it's lit up, when it's turned on. I did find out, and I, I will kind of add this onto the video later, it actually makes a custom noise for this one when you turn it on. Sounds like a kind of like a drum beat instead of the standard, you know, Xbox tones. The, the actual Gears of War one has its own custom startup and shutdown sounds. So I'll try and get some video of that here a little later. But that's all there really is to it. Uh, you can put set it either horizontal or with the, the included stand you can set it up vertical and that's about it that's what you get in the box um, I did notice that with the limited edition you do get the the ultra or the ultimate edition of the Gears of War but then it does also include a code for it says limited edition console gear packs. I haven't seen what those are yet because I've had some issues with the Xbox store downloading those. But it apparently you get some gear packs that are only come with the console. So that's that's kind of an added bonus as well. Um, that's about all there is to it. I'll uh, get it hooked up and, and start playing with it. But just wanted to show you guys what's all in the box. And there you go.